Hey guys. Oh. Okay, so this is probably going to be a similar format to when I do the um. Oh, how am I going to do this? Oh. Right. Uh, this is probably going to be a similar format to when I do the um. Do my little updates on Seven Hundred Dollar Saga. Which I need to play some more of. Um. But inspired by yet another fucking Bill thing. Fucking hell, Bill. Keep making me play games. I say making. You know what I mean. Ah, it's fine. It's fine, bud. Um, but I'm trying out Final Fantasy fourteen because the free trial on that is crazy good. Right, let's have a look at configuration just quickly. Ugh. Right, why is control trial settings? Do I have to worry about anything? Uh, no, it's not. It's quite complicated. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, I'm playing a free trial. Um, I'll work out if if anyone wants to like play with me when like because I think like dungeons you can do with other people. Can't do overworld stuff with people. We can do dungeons with people, so I can play that. So if anyone wants to play along with me, that would be really nice. Uh, I've just done it. Long fucking download. Most of my night already gone. It's about five in the morning. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with European data centers because I live in the UK. Right, are we chaos or light? Well, one of those. Okay, one of those is called Moogle, so yeah, I'm gonna fucking pick Chaos, aren't I? Fucking hell. Right, connecting to data center. I mean, who's not gonna kick, pick the one with Moogles? Right. Oh, it's got audio. Hydlin. A vibrant planet list with the light, the light of the crystal. Um, you're going to be able to hear my TV from over here, a mile away. I mean, as you'll see, is encompassing the list of rest of the three great continents. Their lines are around embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Um, yeah. Her name? Ozia? Oh, Oz. Oh, that's really pretty. The annals of Ozia history chart the succession of great civilizations. Lots of people, lots of different cool looking races. Each one accompanying an age of peace, the astral eras. To date, all have proven in all have proven ephemeral. That's a, a, an interesting grammatical choice. Oh, big meteors. Oh, in the year 1572, the sixth and most recent astral era. The Northern Empire of Galmald. It amassed a great army at the heart of Orzia. Oh, there's like flying stuff. Seeking dominion of all. Ooh, Magitech armor. Oh, I like that. Rising and desperate forces of Orzia and alliance to make the would be conquerors in the field. Oh, this looks really rad. Yes, even as battle raged, the lesser moon downward was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From the court emerged the elder primal Bahamut, ooh, rad, who unleashed its fury upon the realm. Ooh, oh, oh, wow, Bahamut's like blowing the shit out of everything. The devastation brought Urzia to its knees and the era to its end. I believe this is explaining what happened to the original Final Fantasy XIV before they did A Realm Reborn. That's right, isn't it? Really cool. Oh, this, this might be the single player Final Fantasy that I've kind of been wanting to play. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Might be terrible. Oh, five years have come and gone. Oh, the light of life shines upon us here. There's a chocobo, people with flags. It's all bright and colourful and positive. Man labours tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity to ruin. Oh, and there's the all oh, the little people from Final Fantasy XI. The realm is forever changed. A stranger to him once more. Ooh, I think that was a bear moth I saw. 
yet heedless of what lies ahead, you shall press on. I think that that's like talking about people as a whole. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity, lots of people riding around on chocobos, some with armour on. It looks really nice. Amid the period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Erosia. Oh, that's some lovely visual design. Like one who has tailors yet unwritten. Oh, big um, mesas, want to say? I don't know what you call that. The weird rock formations that go up really high. I don't think it ever happened really, but... Mm. This is me. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Also, I've got like the Royal Pact on FF15. I really need to replay that game at some point. I played it like the day one version and it was, um, it was a time. I mean, my first, well, I found it very easy. Sorry, I, I, I should do my character constant. I do my character thing, but I'm going to quickly just to say, in general, oh, um, but yeah, in general, uh, Final Fantasy 15, it's very easy. I got my first game over in the, oh, by the way, um, spoilers, I guess. Oh, oh I can't be Hrothgar or Viera. Oh, I mean, Viera were really cool. They were the best thing about FF12. And Tactics Advance, were they in Tactics Advance? All the other things were in Tactics Advance. Um, anyway, um, FF15, I found it very easy. My first game over was in the post game, where you get the flying car. And I took off in the flying car, and it automatically took off straight into a lamppost. That is the overwhelming, my big impression of FF15. I thought the plot was good although suddenly rushed and railroaded for after the open world bit but like there was a lot to really like and the environments were lovely and beautiful but it didn't feel finished uh, i have the royal edition but i have not yet i have yet to um get around to it anyway let's uh make a person right so there's here or i guess they're just people Elizon, who are big elfy people. Oh, uh, I'm going to be a lady. So we'll work that one out. Uh, Lalafell. Oh, they're cute. Mikote. Are they cat people? I know there are cat people in this. Ancestors uh, of Mikote. Endless forest. Pursuit of wildlife from which it subsisted, adaptation to a hunting lifestyle, has fashioned them into a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail. Oh, they've got tails. Yeah, full on furry. Brilliant. That's very tempting. Not gonna lie. Ooh, big, strong, tall ladies. Rogue. Rogadden. Known for brawny builds and piercing eyes, Rogadden are the largest and most rugged of Urzia's races. Majority of the world. Sea Wolf Clan. They do look rad. That looks amazing. That's like a proper Rhea Ripley looking rad person. Oh, me, me. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. More tailed people. Uh, curved horns. Beautifully patterned scales. Oh, it's like a scaly deal. Ah, right, yes. Yes. I mean, if you want to see the stereotype of what a race looks like, you look at the men. Because ladies all look kind of just like attractive ladies with some bits. I don't want to be a Lalafell. I don't think. Maybe. Lalafell's like. I am right. They're the one. That they're from 11, aren't they? I mostly know Final Fantasy 11 via. Um, there's a character from it who appears in Dissidia. The first Dissidia. I really liked Dissidia. Uh, I didn't play the recent one though. And apparently no one else did because they stopped bothering with it. Yeah, Square Enix all over, isn't it? They either go all over or they, um. They either, like, not all over. They either keep something for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and really support it. Like, for example, FF14, which is still going strong and still getting new expansions and seems to be really, really exciting. Um, or they just drop it. C 
So um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. Circle GP. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was a very good time. Um, da, 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 I can't decide. It's really hard. I think it's gonna be a cat or a big small Rhea Ripley. Oh, it'd be a Rhea Ripley. I was kind of wanting to. Oh, that's alarming. You can just see what your character looks like in their undies. I don't want to see what my character looks like in their undies. Um, oh, you can try them out in different environments, see how it looks. Oh, oh, that's exciting. Oh, this is a cool character creator. Well, I haven't even created a character yet. Right, we're going to be a rogue garden. I think we're going to be a strong lady. Right, who I want to be? Sea wolves. Who are not gonna read out the whole thing. No, they look like they are Vikings. Yeah, North Seas. Uh okay. Oh, or you can be Halsgard. Body and mind, tens of body and oh volcanic ones. Um, I'm going to be a paley. Pale lady. Right. We're going to make her super... Well... Say I make me. My height is approx 198 centimetres. And yes, I'm... Well... well yeah. Um... Can I, how do I get over to the other side? How do I get over to the other side? Or do I do that next? Right, tall. Muscle tone. Could be super muscly lady. Bus size. That's creepy. Um. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, those look weird. Mm, about there, middling, smallish. Mm. To work out how to see if I can share with myself, so I can put it as the put her as the thumbnail. Right, face. Ah, okay. You got these choices of face. Uh, the front one looks all right. Uh, number one looks weird. Number two looks a bit very piercing. Actually, no, yeah. Number three looks weird. Yeah, pick you. There we go. Pick you. Yeah. Skin color. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, where's ah? There we go. Oh, we can go all sorts. Okay. Oh, I mean, this is quite cool. Oh, bluishy. Ooh, kind of go for a bit of a drowish look. Right, hair. Oh, the folds look pretty nice. Ooh, there's lots to choose from. Oh, like that one. Mm, don't think we're going for longer hair. I think we're going to go for an approximation of the boss lady. Ooh, although with the braid. Mmm, remember. Oh, there's a pompadour. I'm not gonna pick it, but I'm glad that it's there. Um, oh, that, that was lightning. Okay, right. Ooh, that's kinda cool. Ooh, I like in these. I kinda wanna go through everyone, but Right. Um, yeah. Some of these are Final Fantasy as fuck, aren't they? Um, right. Right. That's kind of cool. That looks sort of cavalier. Um, well, 
that's also quite nicely swept. Some of these are really dumb though. That's actually the one that my wife would pick because she's so. <clears throat> my partner always she'll make ladies, she'll make big strong ladies because she's actually quite a big strong lady, really. If she keeps up with stuff, you know, you know how it is in life. And um, but she's always like, well, like she's kind of very very funny. Because there's not often very many um, practical hairstyles. Oh, are you are you waking up, little one? Hello. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about your favourite person. Um. But yeah, she tends to pick very practical hairstyles. I'm not going to go as practical. And we're gonna go for. Go for green. I normally go for green, but do I want to go for something a bit different for me? Mm. Oh, God, this is riveting audio, I'm certain. Okay. Um. Oh, hello. What's going on here? If I go here... Ah! The highlights. Okay. What I want... I think we'll go for a red highlight. Um... Ooh! Ooh, this gives you... Ooh! This gives you interesting choices. I mean, it would be kind of nice if instead of how this is, ooh, ooh, actually that's really rad. Yeah, we'll go for that. It's a bit different for me, but you know, <gasps> jaw types. That that's very good. Ooh, eye shapes, brilliant. Oh, the Dorcas Malorcas. Uh, iris size, that's fine, eye colour, that one, eyebrow, oh, always find eyebrow types a bit weird to go for, hello you, yes, 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 yes. I know. Um, don't want tattoos. Ooh, face paint. Ooh, lots of options for face paint. Do we go for something nice or do we go for something really stupid? Uh, I wouldn't go for the blush. Oh, I can reverse. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to do well, I might just do it anyway. But, um. Oh, oh the face type. Oh, the face type. That would be quite good. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't go for the symbols because I don't know what they mean. But go for the Roddy Piper. Mabba. Dark. What weird colour can we pick? Oh, 
Oh. That's, that's actually quite... That's weird. But you know what? Might as well. It's fun. Oh, voice. Okay, we'll go with that one. I'll we'll just like the deep ones. Okay. Right, confirm that. Save appearance data, save part one. Date of birth. Um, oh, which one's going to equate to the date? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, the astral moon. Number ten. Oh, what, wait, do we get the patron deity? Selection has no effect on gameplay. Um, ice war person. Keeper of moon gods alive. Ruler of wizards and wizards. Watcher of Celestial Bodies, Watcher of the Seas and Goddess of Navigation, Travelers and Vagrants, Architects and Industry, Breaker of Worlds, <laughs> Keeper of Sun, Overseer of Underworld, Tender of Soils and Heavens, Surveyor of Change in Space, and God of Time. Maybe that one. Yeah, we'll go for that. Right. What do we want to be? Gladiator, Pugilist, Marauder, Lancer, Archer. I don't think we'll be a magic person. I would say, if I, if there's options later to do second characters, well, I'll tell you, you get second jobs, don't you? But at some point, I'd like to do... Well, you can't, can you? Well, we'll see. If you can do black mages, as in the full-on, your face is... You wear a big silly hat, and your face is a void with two dots poking out. We might make another character to do that. That might be our boy. Um, I like... Hmm. Are you a pokey pokey? Are you an Axie Axie? Well, I don't think I want to do Pugilist, do we? The gladiator's a swordy swordy. Oh. I think we're going pokey pokey. Oh, mm. Actually, I don't know. I think we'll swordy swordy. Swordy swordy little girl. I think swordy swordy. Because it's a fit her look anyway. Right. Oh, that's controls and things. Um Oh actually, yeah, let's have a look at what that will do look like. Oh wow, okay. Oh, Marauder's starting to look a bit better. Oh, actually. Ho, ho, ho. Actually. Hmm. Hmm. Lancer's looking really fucking cool now. Archer's King, not. Yeah, I think I'll go Lancer. I'll be a Lancer. I want a Pokey Pokey. And that looks rad. That looks really fucking rad. Um, is there a way I can just view? No, we don't want to do that. I want to can I screenshot? Yeah, brilliant. Oh. What is wrong with you? 
everything. Right, screenshot. Just in case. Confirm. You have selected Phantom as your starting world. Proceed. Yes. Brill. Okay. Specify first and last name of your character. Oh. Oh. Wait. How do I? Ah, there we go. That's how I do it. Right. Keyboard. Okay. Ah, dear. I'll go Felicia. Um, Felicia Bran. That sounds like, that sounds like a fantasy protagonist doesn't it Ooh. and yeah begin a new game with this character okay Brill. I'm sure this will be utterly interesting to listen to um right so there we go character creation That was me kissing my daughter on the head. Yeah. Fluky, fluky girl. I want to make sure we let mommy have as much of a sleep as possible. But yeah. Oh, this might actually break my rules. I might edit this down because I'm sure it's going to be very boring. Cut out all my silences, maybe. Oh, I've got a cat on my lap. I never noticed that. Hey, Chi Chi. Oh, you stay still. Here we go. Here. Oh, we're, all, we're in the cosmos, guys. Oh, here, feel. We're in the cosmos. It's telling us stuff. You don't care, do you? You're starting to get grumpy. Oh, you shouldn't be hungry yet. Oh, there's a random cursor in the middle of the screen. Oh, here, feel. Oh, oh, I can just move this mouse around with this touchpad. That's kind of nice. I probably should be paying attention. Here, feel, think. Oh, yes, little girl. I think you has that. I need to stand up and start walking around. Don't worry. Oh, it's put me into me, into me Lancer gear. And I look a bit, honestly, a little more settled than Kane. I look like Cecil. Oh, whoever the person in the hood is, there was a person in the hood. They got our mask, and now they're fighting us. Or are they? Do you think that was Kale? Oh. What's the other one? Is it Cosmos? That's not Cosmos, is it? What's the name of the goddess of light? You don't care. The question mark, question mark, question mark says, Oi, there's a die. Can't read from here, I'm miles away. You're all right, lass. You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the aether, I reckon. So, some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to threat, fret, though. I'm, you're sure you'll soon get used to it. This is quite a pretty game. 
Oh, and takes a big old jug, jug straight from my thing. Oh. Very sweet jug. Oh, there's some Moogles tooting their horns. Oh, those are some uh, Crystal Chronicles looking Moogles. The furry creatures, yeah? You better keep up. Another furry keeps it. Aha! You can see us. I have a feeling you could keep up. We're Moogles and we live in this world. So Moogles are invisible to most people. Oh, they're wiggling their butt. Mama, I can't see our favorite. Which makes you special, little keeper. <laughs> yes, I thought this would go. And seeing as you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The words being read was of like, lots of strange things happening. Have you a chance to witness anything suspicious, keeper? Nope, shaking my head. We're just rocking around the, the forest. But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. You don't have a piggy enough nose. What's going on with your nose, Moogle? Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopa. Oh, and then they go all wandering off, flying around with their weird bat wings. And Drunky McDrunkerson's getting drunk. Oh, he's ran out of wine. Oh, no. Does the comedy thing where he looks inside the box. <coughs> Ugh. All right, Grizzled Passenger says... Britannia's still a fair way off. In case you were wondering, seeing as you're awake, how about you keep me company till we get there? We don't have any chance. These youngins don't much care for conversation, see? They're what you call set dressing. Bremont's my name, and Pedlin's me trade. Come on, you should have at least made a rhyme. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I don't know, are you warm? What's the weather like? Looks sunny. Looks nice. I do it. Going wherever the wind blows. Seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business. These days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Uh, why did I become a cat adventurer? Do I want to gain power? Do I want to win glory? Do I want to amass a fortune? I want to dot dot dot. I don't know. Just do. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about a prayer. It may, might be as old brimmer to chatterbox. But it sure as hell ain't no bigger matter. Um, we're in. Oh, that's a very weird... Why are there balloons on top of this cart? It's pulled by chocobos. It's yellow. It's lovely. Oh. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stay secret too. Which is why I don't go sticking my nose where it ain't welcome. Shadows look lovely. Oh, so this is quite a pretty game. Just remember though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. I think that depends, but you know, there's profit for other people. Oh, there's a pokey pokey with a mask on. Woodwaller. Woodwaler? Oh, they profit from this distance. And the font is splash. Um, oh yes, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Put a bit of seraphing on that though, you know, so I can tell what's going on. The wood whaler says, hope go no further. Bramon says, what's this then? 
but that's but that's there's an arrow but that's but that's ooh ah carriage driver says what, what's going on oh really quick oh okay uh, well the wood whaler says that a skirmish has broken out of a head with the Ixer, Excel, Excel. The, the choice of font and of um, punctuation really make it a bit tricky when you're most of the way across the room. That only eyes need testing. For your own safety, you must remain here until. Oh, lots of dudes, lots of. Calm your little butt down, little miss. You need to get a little more sleep. That's what you need to do. You kept your mummy up for ages, and now it's daddy's turn. Daddy has been up since about half two. That's how long it took this game to download. Yes, it did. Bloody hells, says the wood whaler, we shall hold them here. Try to break clear. Oh, they fire their arrows, but the lizard dude has a shield. We watch them from the carriage of a Pokemon pokes. He poked them, the wood whaler, he poked them in the face. He poked them, the wood whaler. Looking a bit out of place. Bamon says, Oh, that was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party, though, hey. Joking aside, this would be the last time you meet those feathered friends. So just you take care, alright. By the by, is this your first trip to Britannia? Yes, it is. Is it? Well, let's uh, let this journey right here now and tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Britannia lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud. The biggest Luscious forest in all of Ozio. Lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice little bridge with a river and a wet waterfall. Waterfall texture looks a bit out of place. Otherwise, good. Though, as it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that. Not since the calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and give the Excel in needed encouragement. Birdman rage have become a daily occurrence. Are they birdmen? They look like lizards to me. But then again, that's just the dinosaurs, isn't it? Birds is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs is now birds. Or is the theropods? Like, what's left of theropods is birds, isn't it? You don't care, do you? Oh, ah, at long last. Behold, Gridania, the forest nation, blessed by the elementals. Power of butt pats. Calm you down with the butt pats. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest close to the heart of Orzia. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies a woodland city-state of Gridania. Oh, lovely. So it's just lovely forests. I can see some big water wheels over a waterfall. Oh, more water wheels. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the seventh umbral era. Ooh, there's a hot air balloon with a moogle on it in the background. Lovely. 
However, the goddess, Nothika, was never one to forsake her children. And today, she welcomes... Uh, ooh, another brave soul. I think that's us. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. There I am. And there's Bremont. Yeah. Here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. And it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. My way of thanks for keeping me company. Yay, free stuff. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become a sort of story personage I can brag about having met. An oil consider a square. May the matron take me to her bosom, as she may never want. And in her heart so serenity, purity, and sanctity. Oh, it's playing that, um, that do 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 yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, we might sing some of your lullabies in a bit. I think that was better you down. I can't really get up because I've got you on top of me. I've also got Chi, who, you know, has been attacking her face with great fervor of late. Oh, there were some adventurers just running past straight out the gate. Oh, and here we are. We're there. There's Redonia, and we're looking around, observing. Taking in the architecture of the area while adventurers mill about. Doesn't really seem like much of a sustainable economy, but sure. Oh, question mark says, you there. Yes, you. Oh, it's the wood waver. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I uh -huh. I am... Bertenant, a wood wheeler of Gordania. It is my duty to protect her nation and her from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see which you are. That's a bit rude. Um. Welcome to Gordania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Controller. Follow the instructions and move your character and adjust the position of the camera. Okay, so camera. When you are ready to proceed, speak to Bertenant. Oh, sorry. I'm moving the wrong way. Okay, um, so X is to select things, square display map, sub commands, triangles to jump. Ah, oh, cool, there's a jump. Hot bars. Oh, cycle through HUD components. Move cursors. Oh, I know the old bits. Right. Okay, we'll see how well this works. Okay, oh. Okay, so you can select. Oh, I like that. That's a really good way to do it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, mate, but I'm just... Oh, God, I'm like... Okay, I think. I think we're okay without having you right on there. No, don't want to do that. I want to do this. Right, we'll work it out. Right. 
Okay, so we've got our first quest. To react, you can an adventure in the city-state of Gridania. First, register yourself to the entry skill. Okie dokie. Another green adventurer, I presume. I had a different voice for you before, didn't I, Brew Tenant? We're just say things how they are weird. I thought as much. We cannot allow strains in a wonder grid and you're in check and untested. Yeah, people are going to just have to have a voice, I feel like, at the time. I think that's the safest way to do it. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known to the, to the Carleen Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local adventurers guild, in case you were wondering. The Carleen Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Mione within, and she will take you in hand. Do you have begun a quest? Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Duty list, when extending the quest. Yeah, I can see that. Right, where the bloody hell's the thing? Right. Well, okay, two. Yeah, cool. Right, we'll close that. Okay, and if I do the touch screen, well, not touch screen, it's not a screen, you know what I mean. But you can do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. Can you go away? Can you go away? Confirm. Yeah, cool. I'll work it out. Hmm, right. Jump, jump. Yay, you can do spinnies. Spinny. Oh, don't jump off a cliff. Right. So I think in this big building, oh, lovely woodwork going on there. I wonder, when they design things like this, do they actually, I wonder how much environmental artists on this kind of game like think about how joists would work and, because look at this, this is lovely, this looks great, this looks very similar to, um, so the house I sort of grew up in from a... Seven-ish. This is why I moved like briefly after my. Well, anyway, briefly after some important events in my life, uh, we moved to a house which was um, actually like lots of wood. It was um, the guy who built it built it for his wife, who was Canadian, you know, and it was done in like a rural, like Canadian style. It's like a really, really fancy, old. Lots of glass, lots of wood. It's very weird. It's a lovely house. Um, but yeah, it's reminding me of that. Kind of makes me always nostalgic for, for like big wooden beams. Um, yeah, I was going up. Okay. Oh. So yeah, okay. So this appears to be, well, it's probably more of a meeting hall. It's probably rude of me to jump on the tables. But, um... Right, collecting rewards. Collect this. Complete a quest by speaking to an NPC in the check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards from items of guild to experience points. Yep, okay, let's talk to Mother Mione. Are you going to be voiced? Ask us. Oh, she's looking through a book. Nope. Is, is anyone voiced? Oh well. Mother Mione. You look far too young to be a mother, but you're an elder person, aren't you? Oh well. Well, well, what do we have here? A wide-eyed and wandering young adventurer come to put your name down at the guild, I assume. Welcome. Me is my name, or mother me as most call me. It, and the Caroline Canopy is my place. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honour of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the Guild is here to help you attain them. In return, we expect you to fulfil your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? 
to an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but thought could be further from the truth. The people live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixal and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble, trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Galian Empire to the north, and that is to say nothing of the calamity. I have to speed up too, because there's a lot of talking. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Urzia was well nigh laid to waste when a dread worm emerged from within the lesser moon Dalamund and rained fire upon the realm. It, it is with this which people call the calamity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This was square build of the twelve woods was spared to devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall ex precisely how it all happened. It felt as if someone turned off the servers and started to rebuild all anew. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true, for reasons we can all ill explain the facts surrounding the calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions or events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amid the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing, that Urzia was saved from certain doom by bands of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm, and whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see large some silhouettes amidst a dying, blinding glare. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Ahem, pray, do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask you to become another Warrior of Light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. All that's left then is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. Oh, I know, I know, little miss. Oh, and I would appreciate if you used your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. Okay, cool beans. Felicia Bran. Hmm. Are you quite sure that is an amusing alias? Very well. From this moment forward, you are registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed by the elementals and bounty of the twelve twelve wood. My guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Oh, Woodwaver. Look at just what arrived. Another goddamn adventurer. He wandered off. Mother Moon says, Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very self that Gridania needs. The elder Seedsphere herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Woodwave says, Of course not, lest you forget it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. Oh, I'm sorry, little miss. I know, I know. But, pat, but, pat, but, pat, but, pat. Shall we go back to all the, well, we sing this bit. Shall I try and do it in the voice? Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle arm. Oh, that's twitchy. Having a funny dream. You having a funny dream? What age did you start dreaming? Do you always dream? Hmm. If only we could remember. Well, St. Augustine of Hippo claimed that he could remember, but who knows whether he was of dubious feelings. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Out of all of the things Daddy studies, you find philosophy and theology the least interesting i understand yeah i know i know i know i know little miss i think we might need to get up and walk around well 
Fuck yeah. All hands on deck. We've run afloat. I heard the captain cry. Explore the ship. Replace the cook. Let no one leave alive. Around the straits, around the horn, how far can sailors fly? A twisted tail, a tortured corpse, and no one left alive. We sail for parts unknown to man. Oh, is that one not working today? Is that one not working today? We're not feeling Prokoharami. Oh, well. Um. Okay, 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 okay. I think we might have to pause this one for now in terms of what's on the, on the phone. And pick this up with the people tomorrow. Oh well, suffice to say, ladies and gents, that um, the wood whalers don't like adventurers, and and Mother Mian's like, everyone just chill out, matey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Chi, I know. It's loud, isn't it? It's almost like you sitting on my lap is stopping me from walking around and settling in this babble. You little idiot. Um... Yeah, so I guess the general idea is, I guess the general idea, Cassie, no, Cassie, no, Cassie, no, the other one, your flick, is often the way with folks who live in isolation. Yeah, because they're all, they live in the middle of a forest, don't they, so they don't like outsiders. Okay, okay, right, goodbye, people.